Welcome you guys to my new lecture, to my new and awesome lecture I have to say, because we will try to to get an idea about the Riemann zeta function, but I'm not jumping into the zeta function, I'm just going slowly, slowly with little steps so we get a, a picture of all the problem, okay? So where I want to start off is the harmonic series. And please don't tell me that you do not know what the harmonic series is. It's not uh, viewed on Showtime or anywhere. It's a mathematical series, which means actually a sum. Okay, it's a sum. Now we'll show you what this actually looks like. It's most times it's uh, denoted with n here. Uh, sorry, with h n which is 1 plus 1 over 2 plus 1 over 3 plus 1 over 4 plus and I could go on but I will not because I know you are smart and you know what this actually is it's a, these are just the natural numbers you do, you do their reciprocal and look what happens okay now this harmonic series has a lot of cool features and it is the beginning of the zeta function okay we will do some cool stuff with this and the first thing I want to to ask you or we want to answer together is if this is diverging or converging if you do not know what this means divergence and convergence this actually means if if I take this n to be infinitely large so if I go further and further and add up uh, small little pieces to that will this sum end at some point so this means converge or will it diverge so have no special value in the end but maybe it will oscillate or it will go to infinity and Actually, shall I tell you the, the answer or not? What is more important? Well, I, I'll take the secret for you so it's m funnier to look, okay? And actually, I want to look at the sum and want to do something with it, okay? First of all, I recognize, if I'm looking at them, at the parts of the, the series, I will recognize something and this is the most crucial part of all this okay i look at these fractions okay i know it's one plus one half one over three plus one over four now what i'm doing is i see one over three is larger so i'm just writing this down and you will actually it's, it's a true inequality so i'm just um, approximating the series with a lo lower bound, okay? The bound, I say one plus one half, I don't change anything to that. Now I look at this and I say, hey look, one over three is larger than one over four. So I will just replace this with one over four, okay? Now if I continue onwards, I, I just leave these blank and I will fill them in. So we would have here 1 over 8. So here normally we would have 1 over 5. But actually this is larger than 1 over 8. 1 over 6 is also larger than 1 over 8. This is also larger than 1 over 8. And actually you should see what I'm doing here. I'm So in the first step I took two parts and said okay they are smaller than 1 over 4 here I took 4 next step I would have to do 8 so it's uh, 2 to the uh, m so to say it's a powers of 2 and if I take these together and I could do this you could you, you see this if I come to uh, 16 I can do all these parts smaller than this I hope you understood this step because why is this true if we have 3 is smaller than 4 and if I do the reciprocal I get this and this is actually what I'm using here all the time I'm estimating the sum and saying okay this part is smaller uh, than it's not smaller it's bigger than 1 over 4 and I do it all the time now why did I do this okay now let's just um, come here and look what will happen actually what you see here is I get 1 over 4 plus 1 over 4 is what? it's 1 half 
okay? What does happen here? I have 1 over 8 4 times, so this gives me again a 1 half. And here I had 8 times 1 over 16, giving me again 1 over 2. So, if you think about this and do this to infinitely large numbers, what will happen is, you will end up having an infinite sum that is not converging, it does not have a special values because if I take um, two uh, to the m uh, parts here in the series, I can estimate them and say, okay, this is one half, this is one half, and I, I can do this infinitely often, okay? What we will get here is that this is going to infinity, okay? What, by, what does this tell us? We, we didn't look at the, the general harmonic series, not the general, but the, the harmonic series itself, but we estimated its lower value. But what does happen? We know that this is the lower bound, but this lower bound is going to infinity. And this harmonic series is even larger than this, meaning that this actually diverges to, it goes to infinity, and this is a very interesting fact, if you think about it, you take a sum and you add smaller and smaller bits to it, and still it's going to infinity, okay, and this concludes the lecture, it's the harmonic series, the first step on our way, the harmonic series converges, no, sorry, <laughs> it diverges, what the heck, how did I come to say this, okay, I hope no one does um, hate mail me or something like this, because <laughs> this sum is actually not converging, it's diverging, okay, and that's actually the first step that I'm doing, in the next lecture I will show you a le neat little trick that we can use to show that there are infinitely many prime numbers.